everybody. It's me again. Uh, everyone's still quarantining. Some are coming out, but we're here at Arcadia Mill again on the nature trails this time. Uh, we have another exciting plant to highlight for you today as a great view of how people long ago would have survived off the landscape back before the lovely pharmacies and grocery stores we all enjoy today. So what we're talking about today is a plant that if you're looking up as you walk around, you might not spot. But if you look down closer to the ground, the edge of some trails in this local area, you'll see a plant that's called the sundew, the pink sundew. And it's actually a type of carnivorous plant. And we've got some here today on our trail. So here we've got a tiny pink sundew here along our trail. And you can see here a close up of the flower. Um, it looks like a sunburst and each of these little arms on there has tiny red or pink hairs. And when these hairs sense an ant or tiny insect crawl across it, they will curl up around the insect and eat them or digest them in this way. And these digestive properties are what were so useful to early people. They would rub this uh, plant on skin infections or bacterial infections or fungal infections of the skin and it would help clear these up for them. So, and here you can see a tiny little flower at the top. This is how they, they uh, uh, reproduce. These will become new little sundews one day and they're a part of the plant. So it's important not to step on them if you see them. Make sure you keep an eye out next time you're hiking here around Arcadia Mill. Make sure you don't step on these guys. They're real cute, but they're nice to look at, not to stomp on. See you next time.